Good morning everybody, my name is Dean Fowl and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I want to carry on, I did <coughs> a video, excuse me, a video yesterday on how to create a basic sheet metal part. Today I want to carry on and um, I've been getting a lot of raster to vector questions here lately which is pretty cool because I like playing around with the raster to vector. Um, there's different methods of doing it as well so when we get back right after this break we'll jump straight into it okay <laughs> Okay, so let's get into it. Rusted a vector. A lot of people who have got lasers or CNC milling or laves or um, milling machines especially, right? Because how many times have we used the milling machine to make some widgets and trophy type stuff um, for people on, on our equipment? So today, I'm going to take you through some steps here that I do in Radan and... Um, I'm going to give you some pointers to look out for when um, you are downloading images from Google. So we'll start there. Okay, so I'm in Radan right now. If you don't have Radan, um, you know, you, you may have something else you're using. Um, but most of my customers, all my customers are using Radan. And we have the ability to import raster to vector, uh, import images doing raster to vector. Okay, so in order to do this, you need a good picture here, right? You need to download something off Google and, and grab an image. So uh, if we take, um, uh, let, let's say, doing uh, fishing, right? fishing um, and I'll just go PNG I like to use PNG or bitmaps monochrome black and white um, the other important thing I'm gonna say here is you want to be looking for images that are over uh, 200 DPI's 250 DPI's if you get something that's about 96 DPI's or less it's gonna you're gonna have to clean that up right and that's where you would probably use something like Corral Draw and clean it up and pull it in. So when I click over here on images, we can see some great images. If I were to download, let, let's look at this image here. Let's download this one. Save image. Um, let's go back to my raster to vector here. Fishing graphics. And... Fishing 05. I'll save that. Right, if I open this folder up, we should be able to come in here and we'll look at this. This is a JPEG, right? We can see a little bit of information about this file. Here's the size. So, not very big by the looks of it. And if I come in here and go properties, right? <coughs> excuse me we can come in and see the details on this image so it's at 224 pixels which is 96 dpi's not a very great one to import but i'm going to import it in so you can see okay so if i go back here into radan i can go file import raster image and here's the fishing logo if i open that and you can see it's pretty shoddy and we can clean the lines here um, make black lines thinner fill in some white spots connect all the near pixels and then I'm gonna extract the edges of the black region and hit OK and it'll give us some sort of image but that's what you're getting with that 96 DPI's right so it's important that you remember you need to aim for something that is probably pixel size over 1500 um, 
when I when I create vectors and stuff like that, I'm usually running around twenty five thousand pixels or five thousand pixels when I'm creating my vectors. Okay, in in Corel Draw and that. So we know that's no good. So that's fine. So let's let's take it another um, image I've got here. Let's see, uh, is that one? Um, Let's check check this one out. Properties. Details. Right. <clears throat> uh, it's still 96 DPI's, but the pixels are pretty pretty good there. Right. Um, we could probably use that because the pixels are all right. That other one wasn't too good. Um, so we can use possibly use that. Here's another one. See the dimensions, 24,000 by 1,200, right? So if I come in here and go properties, um, go details. Okay, so we're at pixels, 2,400 by 1,200. Pretty good. Um, it doesn't show the DPIs on that. Okay, so but let, let's pull that one in. It's got a lot of detail, right? So, um, file, import raster image, fish number four, and we'll bring that guy in. At 100%, because of the large pixels, you notice we can reduce this so we can see it a little bit on our screen. But that is going to, that's pretty good. We, we should be able to do something with this one, right? Invert black and white lines. If you wanted to do that, um, you can come in here, clean the lines, make black lines thinner, fill small white holes, connect the near pixels, and then I'll extract the edges, and then open it up in reading. All right, so now you can see we've got the um, image here everything's pretty good right so that's our first step i will carry on with the another video tomorrow morning i will load it friday is when we usually load our videos and we will get into creating the sheet metal part but i at least wanted to explain raster to vector bringing in the different images and what type of images to look for okay have a wonderful day